Welcome back to the Orca Boat Shop. My name is Rod, and this is episode five in building the Acorn Sailing Skip. So, last episode, I got all the forms set up, transom in, hog or keelson in. It's now time to to take a really good look at the forms and see if they're all fair. Meaning that when I put planking onto here, are there is there a nice smooth line touching all of the forms? So I'm just going to start by, you know, in certain sections, I've got a uh, pretty stiff piece of walnut here, and if I just hold this down on all the forms, I can, you know, and see that it's not touching a little bit here. Maybe this form here is a little high. I can slide it over a little bit further, and it might very well be that, yeah, I think this one's a little bit high. We just mark it with a pencil. <coughs> but I need to shave off a little on that one there. But for the most part, I slide, by looking down here and I slide this down, it's touching all of the forms, it's a nice smooth line. I switch to looking down on it a little easier and just jump down a, a form and work my way back up. Touching all the forms as I go. And it's still a nice smooth line between them all. I could even move this on an angle like such and slide it down. It still should be a smooth curve. It's a little bit hard to sort of move it down equally, but it doesn't matter which way I go. Jump down the last forms here, touching all the forms, nice smooth curve. For the most part, you know, the plans should be fairly accurate, and as long as I've cut these out accurately. So now we come through here, we've got a bit of a dip in here, which I suspect is that we need to bevel this form here in that area a bit, bevel it down, take off the outside edge of it. Probably for the most part on both of these here. But down lower looks good. It's more as it comes up into this area here. And then we're going to contact the stem further down as well. So there's going to need to be a bit of a twist in the planking. So just to bevel some of these edges, I'm just going to use my spoke shoe here and start to try and take off a little material on the forward face. Do it in the areas that I marked on this as well. process. I'm not going to video the whole thing. We'll just kind of suffice it to say that I've gone over this side. I've already done the other side which I have my battens on and I will do the same on this. I will line up a batten basically where every uh, plank is going to land. The edge of every plank is going to land. Give me an idea of sort of where the, where the, 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 uh, the lines of the boat will be when the planks or strakes are on. Now that I have my forms fared out so that battens will run smoothly along there, I need to check that my planking will actually lay flat on the forms. Some of the areas of the uh, hull form may not allow for the planking to go straight across. I may have to shape flat areas on some of the molds here on both sides. More than likely it's going to be in the sharper curves. So I have a sample bit of planking here. This is just a scrap piece of yellow cedar, but it is the thickness 
and uh, that would be required. So I just need to lay it across. So if I lay it from where the plank would land onto the hog there or just straight across, I'm just sort of feeling if there's any sort of a, a little bit of a roll in there that I might need to just shave off a little bit of that area there. And look at this one here, there's even more roll in there. So for the plank to land from this point here up onto the flat surface on top of the hog, I'm going to need to shave away some of the, the actual form because um, I'm not asking the planking to curve around that way. Certainly curve from end to end this way, but not curve around the forms. So we'll need to shave off this area here to flatten it out. Right in here. Well, yeah, a little bit in the middle there. And I'll just work my way along. I'm just going to do, you know, a couple of sections uh, because once I get plank number one on, I can just work my way down. Now up in the middle here, it's not really going to be an issue. Plank will land nice and flat across there, no problem. Back in the stern portion here, there will actually be a bit of a gap underneath there and that's fine. The planking will just go from the landing point to sit on the hog and a lot more so in here. That's much better on that one. Work on this uh, number one form. Maybe a little off of this one as well. Next will be to shape the hog to accept the planking. So this has to lay flat down onto the hog. So I'm just going to get out the bigger plane. Start shaving off. Then we just check periodically that we are on the right angle and that we're moving the material in the right places. Once you have sort of it landing nicely at the forms themselves, it's a changing degree, a changing bevel on the hog itself. Now it's just a matter of making that transition between this point, that point, that point by just rolling the plane along. Between the two points, getting that carried through to the next. And look down the line, you can sort of see if this uh, edge here is kind of a wave that it's not a smooth transition. I'm going to have to get in there. You're not going to pick it up on the camera, but what I'm looking for is where that, where that line is between horizontal and the bevel. And I can just maybe draw in here for you with my pencil. Right on the high point. And I'm just looking for a pretty smooth line through there between all of these. It's looking pretty good. I'll carry on down the rest of the boat. And for the planking to come through and sit flush on the uh, transom edge, I need to bevel this one. I've measured sort of the, the gap on the outside and showing how much I need to remove, or sorry, from the inside, gap on the inside to kind of give an idea of how much I need to remove on the outside. For that, I'm just getting out the larger chisel here. We're just gonna try and pare away some material.
lastly, I can just use a bit of a longboard sandpaper to try and smooth this out on line with the forms. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And these are relatively the same size and shape at the hood end here. The shear being a bit wider because it'll be covered by the uh, rails. I think that's all we're going to cover in this episode. Thank you very much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to get on to planking this. As you can see in the back here, I've already got a plank or two on and uh, we're going to go through the process of how the patterns of the planks are made, uh, what we call spiling or pattern making, taking that spiling, making another pattern out of it, out of a full size piece of scrap ply, and if that works, then cutting out a full plank. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you want to make sure you're following along on this video series, uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, please do give us a like. Thank you very much for watching.